as I posted. But today we'll be reading a really cute book and funny book about this guy called Stanley. And he goes through this problem where he gets embarrassed. But before we start reading the book, I want to go over some vocabulary so that you have a better understanding of the book. So the first word that we're going to go over is the word tease. As you can see, tease. The S is making us kind of like a Z sound. Tease. And this word means to make fun of someone in a playful way. However, you can see that sometimes when you make fun of someone, it can end up with someone being really sad and start crying. Or they can, you can make them really mad. But sometimes when you tease someone in a very friendly way, it can make each other laugh as long as you don't go over the, the border, right? You don't want to hurt someone and make them feel bad about themselves. The next word that I have for you to, is the word stare. Stare means stare means to look at someone or something for a really long time. Sometimes you may be staring at your screen. Like right now, I am, I've been staring at my screen for around like an hour or two already. Or you can be staring at someone. As you may have heard, it is not polite. It is not nice to stare at someone because sometimes they don't want to be looked at for so long. And if you see someone that you think is a bit weird or like they're doing something that you don't really see, sometimes it's better and more polite to not look at them for so long. So sometimes you'll hear someone say, oh, it's not polite to stare. And that's what stare means. And in the story, you'll see what happens when everyone was staring. So the book that we'll be reading is called Crazy Hair Day. is by Barney Salzberg. And from this picture, I want you to think about what is going to happen in this story. Do you think it is Crazy Hair Day and everyone is going to celebrate it? Or if there is a problem that's going to come up? Crazy Hair Day. Okay, so this is Stanley waking up from his bed. It's the morning time and he's going to get ready for school. Crazy Hair Day, Barney Salzburg. Stanley Burbum woke up early. Bald Eagle Elementary School was celebrating Crazy Hair Day. And Stanley couldn't wait. They had celebrated Pajama Day, Twin Day, and Sixties Day. Stanley's favorite was Twins Day because he and his best friend, Larry Finchfeather, had worn exactly the same thing. If you look at the pictures on the wall, you can see that this is Pajama Day. This is Twin Day, which means that this is his best friend, Larry. And this is 60s Day. Stanley was ready. He had rubber bands, he had styling gel, and to make his hair perfect, Stanley had two cans of Halloween hairspray. Stanley's mother knew just what to do. She wrapped, she dipped, and to make his hair perfect, she sprayed Stanley's hair bright orange and blue. Ta-da, says Stanley, I am a work of art. You are going to be late if you don't hurry, said his mother. As you can see from his hair, it's orange, it's spiky, it's blue, and he loves the way that he's looking right now. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the top of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be the day I will never forget. As you can see, there are people looking at him, right? They're staring everywhere on the street. I bet Larry Finchfeather and I will have the craziest hair in the whole school, Stanley thought. As he walked toward the classroom, he heard his teacher talking. And remember, Mr. Winger said, crazy hair day is... Next Friday, everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley felt sick. Larry Finchfeather said, is that a hairdo or a hair don't? Everybody laughed. Stanley ran to the bathroom. 
Remember, Larry Finchfeather is his best friend, and not everyone staring at him. A few minutes later, Stanley heard someone come in. It's me, Larry Finchfeather. The fair Larry Finchfeather who just made fun of me in front of the whole class? Asked Stanley. I was only teasing, said Larry. Some days you tease me too much, said Stanley. Mr. Ringer said he wants me to try to be a peacemaker instead of troublemaker, said Larry. I'm supposed to bring you back to class. I'm not going, said Stanley. So Larry Finchfeather likes to tease him. And again, I said that teasing can sometimes can make someone really upset if you do it in an appropriate way and it makes them feel bad about themselves. If you stay in here, you'll miss being in the class picture, said Larry. I thought that was next Friday, said Stanley. Crazy hair day is next Friday, said Larry. Today is school picture day. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. Larry Finchfeather suggested that Stanley try washing his hair in the sink. It won't help, said Stanley. Halloween hair color lasts for days. So this is going to stay for a while. Well, it really doesn't matter. It's only your hair, Larry told him. If you don't come out of here by the time math is over, I'm going to get you. You can't stay in here all day long. So his best friend is actually trying to help him, right? He tells him that today is picture day, and even though his hair is a little crazy, it's okay. He can still take the picture, because it's his hair. It was very quiet after Larry Finchfeather left, and Stanley wondered if maybe he could spend all day in the bathroom. He ate his lunch. He drew pictures. He even timed himself to see how fast he could flush all the toilets. 32 and a half seconds, he shouted. A new world record by me, Stanley Burbum. Stanley had counted up to 121. 122. 123 drops of water from a leaky faucet when Larry Finchfeather came back. So what do you think will happen? Do you think Larry is going to be able to convince Stanley to go take the picture with them? Beep! Time's up. Let's go, Larry announced. Picture time! If I'm in it, I'll look like the class weirdo, said Stanley. Remember 60 day when Mr. Winger had the flu but came in anyway, said Larry? He said the day wouldn't be the same if we weren't all together. You have to come. I'll give you five minutes. So he's going to give Stanley some time to think about it. And then let's see what will happen. Let's see if you're right or wrong. Do you think Stanley will go to go with Larry to take the picture? Larry Finchfeather left, and Stanley Burbum thought about 60s day when Mr. Ringer had taught them all those great old songs. He remembered how on pajama day, everyone in his class had worn PJs and slippers. Then Stanley imagined what his class picture would look like without him. So as you can see, every time they have a different special day, they are always together. And that was the main thing that Larry was trying to tell him. That without his picture, it will still be weird, right? He decided to go back to class. To keep from being nervous, Stanley made up a song. Crazy hair, crazy hair, how I wish it wasn't there. Stanley felt someone touch his shoulder. I was just coming to get you, said Larry Finchfeather. What if they laugh at me again, asked Stanley. Everything will be fine, Larry whispered. I promise. Oh, what do you think will happen? Stanley stood in front of his class. Look at his face. He's surprised. Something happened. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. As you can see, everyone decided to put something crazy and funny on their heads to make Stanley feel better. 
This way he won't feel alone and the class picture will still have everyone in it. The end. Alright, now it's time for some questions. Since it is springtime, I decided to make a theme of flowers throughout the whole questionings. And you'll see that there will be different types of flowers. And let's see what the first question is. What kind of day did Stanley think his school was celebrating? Was it A, Twin Day, B, Pajama Day, or C, Crazy Hair Day? I'll give you time to figure that out. Alright, let's go over it. The answer should be, let's say it all together, A, B, or C. C is the answer. He thought it was crazy hair day. Number two, what was the problem of the story? Was it A, Stanley wore the wrong pajamas, B, Stanley did not wear the right shirt for twin day, or C, Stanley got the date wrong for crazy hair day. So think about what the problem was in the story. I'll give you some time to think about that. All right, let's go over it. The answer should be C. Stanley got the date wrong for Crazy Hair Day. Remember, he walked into class and people were actually staring at him because he got the date wrong. Crazy Hair Day should have been next week. And Stanley thought it was the day. Number three, what did the kids at school do when they first saw Stanley's hair? A, they stared and teased. B, they smiled and made Stanley feel better. Or C, they did not see Stanley's hair. Which one do you think is the answer? I'll give you some time to think about it. All right, let's go over it. The answer should be A. They were staring at him and teasing him. And after his best friend made a joke and was also teasing him, everyone started laughing. Number four. What does, where did Stanley go after the class laughed at his hair? Where was Stanley trying to hide? Was it A. At home, B. School bathroom, or C. School lunchroom? Which one is the answer for that question? Give you some time to think about that. All right, let's go over it. The answer should be B, the school bathroom. Remember, he was waiting in the school bathroom and Larry even went to visit him. He was eating in the school bathroom. He was counting the number of drips in the bathroom. He was hiding in there. If you got all of those questions right, give yourself a clap. If you didn't, we have more. It's okay. We're going to try. Number five. Who went to talk to Stanley when he didn't want to leave the bathroom? Was it A, his best friend Larry, or B, his teacher, or C, his mom? Who went to talk to him when he was in the bathroom? Do you guys remember? The answer should be A, his best friend Larry. He was telling him that we should, he has to leave someday because he can't be stuck in the bathroom all day, right? Number six, fill in the following blank. 
Larry told Stanley that it was blank day instead of crazy hair day. What did Larry tell Stanley? What day was it instead of crazy hair day? Was it A pajama day, B picture day, or C crazy hair day? Which one is the answer? Give you some time to think about that. Okay, let's go over. The answer is B. Picture day. Larry was telling Stanley that he had to go take the picture with the class because without him, it wouldn't be complete, right? Even though he had crazy hair, it was okay. Number seven. How was the problem solved? Was it A. Everyone put something silly on their head for the picture. B. Stanley went home because he was sad. Or C. Stanley decided to stay in the school bathroom. Which answer are you going to get? Think about it, and we'll go over it. All right. The answer is A. If you remember. At for picture day, everyone has something crazy on their head and something silly, so that Stanley wouldn't feel alone, which was really really nice of them, right? Do you agree? All right. So for this question, it's what you think. Which type of crazy hair do you like the best? If you look at all of these, which one do you like the best? There are so many options. You point to the one that you like the most. And if you want, you can actually draw a picture of what you would have put on your hat if you were part of this class. That's something that you can work on at home, and you can color it. Okay. Well, in my opinion, I love all of them, and I think every one of them are actually really special because they're so different. Everyone had their own ideas, and I think that's just amazing. If you like this book, give me a thumbs up. As you can see, I also kept the flower theme everywhere, and I hope you like that. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.